suppose uh, i will be asked to find z8 comma plus so this is uh, algebraic system so capital z is set of integers right and plus is the uh, let's say normal addition operations right so what what do you mean by this eight then right the meaning is eight numbers from set of integers and it is assumed it should be assumed like these numbers are positive or positive integers set of eight positive integers and operation is your normal addition operation so what can be the elements in the z then so it should start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so eight numbers okay now what is meaning of this z8 comma plus so it is not a normal addition operation okay it is addition modulo 8 you need to remember addition modulo 8 so if i write like z8 comma uh, multiplication so you should uh, read this as an multiplication modulo 8 if i write z4 comma multiplication so it should be read as multiplication mod 4 so this is very uh, important whenever you come across uh, algebraic system like this z4 comma multiplication or z8 comma multiplication or this or else this multiplication can be written like this x uh, multiplication 4 or multiplication 8 or plus 8 so plus substitute 8 so meaning so its meaning is like addition mod 8 so its meaning is multiplication mod 8 multiplication mod 4 so now uh, let us will prepare a table for this So numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, so this operation is addition modulo 8. So how will you prepare this table? It should be 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 mod 8. So 0 mod 8 is 0. Next is this 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 mod 8 gives you 1, remainder is 8, right, addition modulo 8, the next 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 mod 8 is 2, so likewise if you continue, you will get 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, so what about, what about the second row, row of 1, how you, how you should read this, like 1 plus 0, that is C, uh, that is 1, 1 mod 8 is 1. Next is like 1 plus 1, that is 2, 2 mod is 8 is 2. So likewise, it, if you continue, like you will get like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the last number, right? Then you get 0. How 0? How to 0? Because 1 plus 7 is 8 and 8 mod 8 is 0. Right, so there is a shortcut to prepare this table. Like now, in the row of two, right, we know like uh, two plus zero, you'll get two, right? So, you, you, your table will start from two, then continue three, four, five, six, seven is the last number. After seven, it will, it will come as zero, then one. Now, next row of three, like three, four, five, six, seven, after seven, it's zero, one, two. Then you see here 4, 5, 6, 7. So here is 0, 1, 2, 3. Here is 5, 6, 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Next here is 6, 7, then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here is 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is how you can prepare the table. Now, if I want to find out the identity element, so what is uh, identity element for this? So, what is definition of identity element? A 
operation is now plus a plus a, a addition mod 8 what gives you a right so 0 plus 0 gives you 0 then 1 plus 0 gives you 1 2 plus 0 gives you 2 right hence you can say like 0 is an identity element and one shortcut method I said, like what is sequence of numbers in your set? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So which column you have same, uh, which columns you have numbers in the same sequence, like 0 to 7. Here you can see 0 uh, in the column of 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So in the column of the column of 0, and hence your identity element is 0. Fine. Now, next uh, important uh, definition is subgroup. So, what are uh, subgroups? So, one subgroup I can write as H1, 0, 4. Another subgroup I can write as H2, 0, 2, 4, and 6. Okay, now how I written this? So this uh, H1, 0, 4. So why this is a subgroup? So if you look at the table, if you, if you have only two elements, 0 and 4, 0 and 4, then copy the value for uh, 0 and 4, right? Or prepare the table here itself, you can. You can prepare the table here itself, right? So it, it becomes zero and it becomes four because four plus zero is four, four more eight is four. And here four plus zero, four, four more eight is four. And here four plus four, four uh, plus four is eight, eight more eight is zero, right? And you, you, or, or else you can refer the, the, this prepared table as well, right? So why this is called as a subgroup, right? So, because uh, this, this satisfies the all the properties of group, there there exists. Uh, it is it is close operation as well. It is associative as well. There exists identity element as well. Your identity element is zero in this case, and there exists inverse for every element as well. So zero's inverse is zero. Then four four inverse is four. Hence, I can say this as an uh, subgroup. But at the same time, if I if I try to write a subgroup H3 is like uh, 0, 1, 2. So can I say, can I say this as a subgroup? If you look at the 0, 1, 2, here is 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, right? So this one. Can I say this as a subgroup? Answer is no. Why? Because if you look at the uh, sub table, right, for 0, 1, 2, that is an element 4, right, which, which may not be the part of this small subset because 4 is outside of this 0, 1, 2. So closed operation itself gets uh, doesn't get satisfied. And hence, H3 cannot be a subgroup. So similarly, this H2 with elements 0, 2, 4, 6 also can be a subgroup. So a uh, question can be framed like uh, for uh, uh, the group is given like Z8, plus and following is a subgroup of this Z8, plus. So you should be able to find out, you should, uh, you should know like uh, the way uh, we can find out the subgroup or how to check whether it is subgroup or not. So along with this, uh, there is uh, also one small definition, which is, which is uh, correlation with this uh, subgroup concept or group concept, that is normal subgroup. So how it is uh, defined, a subgroup, H of 
group G is normal subgroup of G if G and G inverse should belongs to capital M that is the result of G and G inverse should belongs to capital M for all the element G that belongs to the group and this n small n belongs to the set of natural numbers so for example uh, if i have a subgroup as 0 2 4 and 6 okay so when it is called as a normal subgroup if this condition gets satisfied g and G inverse should belongs to set of natural numbers. So in between G and N, definitely there will be the binary operation defined. It may be like G addition modulo 8 N, then N addition modulo 8 G inverse, right? So this whole result should belongs to the capital N. So capital N is set of natural numbers. And this should be true for all G that belongs to capital G that is group for that is uh, for all the elements in the group. So for example, if I take uh, element three, G value as uh, three. Okay, and N value as two. Then what is G inverse? So what is uh, inverse of uh, this element three? So look at the uh, row of element three, then find out the identity element in the row of three. What is identity element for this table or for this algebraic system is zero. So if you look at the table of three, so identity element is here, right? So for what value? Five. So three is inverse is five. Select three, two, five. So how to get the result? So three, addition modulo eight, uh, eight with two. So what is the result? Three plus two is what? Three plus two. What is the result? Three plus two is five. Five. Then five addition modulo eight with this five. So what is five plus five? Five plus five. It is this two. 5 plus 5 is, is 2. So we got a result as 2. So whether 2 belongs to the set of natural numbers, answer is yes. And if it is so, then I can say this H2 is a normal subgroup. H2 is a normal subgroup. So next is uh, finding order of element in any algebraic system. So this is very uh, important. Like along with finding uh, the identity element and finding inverse of every element, right? Uh, you may get a question like finding the order of every element in any algebraic system. So how it is uh, defined, the order of element. So now I've prepared the uh, table here, right? So Z4, there are four elements. So set of positive uh, four numbers starting from zero. So zero, one, two, three. And the operation is plus, right? So it is uh, addition model of four. So based on that, uh, I have prepared uh, this uh, table. Like if I'm to find out uh, one plus three, right? So one plus three is four and four mod four is zero and hence value is here zero, right? So plus subscript four is meaning is addition modulo four. So if I'm to find out two plus three, so this two plus three is five and five mod four is what? Five mod four is one and hence value here is one. Two plus three is one, right? 
Now, how this uh, order of element is defined? So, order of any element E is n, where n is smallest positive integer satis which satisfies the condition a power n is equal to e. So what is this e? So you, your e is your identity element. What is E? E is your identity element. So if you look at uh, this system, right, your identity element is zero. Right, your identity element is zero. E is zero for this algebraic system. Now, how, how order of element is defined? Order of any element is n. So what is this n? Where any smallest positive integer which satisfies the condition, like a power n, it gives you the identity element. Meaning is, if you want to find out the order of one, so what is the least value of n? What is the least value of n, right? Which gives you the identity element. A power n means how many times you will, you will take one, let us say a value is one. How many times you will take one so that you will get the identity element? Like one, a one into one into one, how many times so that you will get an identity element right and here a dot is the binary operation defines now in this case is addition modulo 4 so if you want to find out the order of 2 so how many times 2 will take right? 2 addition modulo 2 addition modulo 4 2 addition modulo 4 2 how many times so that you will get identity element that is 0 So if you want to find out the order of uh, one, how I will find? So one addition modulo four one. If I do one plus one is what two? Two mod four is what two? But I want zero. Again, one more time you take one. Now one plus one. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Again, 3 mod 4 is 3. But you want 0. So if you take 1 3 times, still you are not getting the 0. So take one more time. And if you take 4 times, like 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now 4 times 1, right? So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. 4 mod 4 is now 0. So how many times you have taken 1? It's four times and hence order of one becomes four. If you want to find out the order of two, so two plus two is what? It's four. Four more four. Four more four is zero. So if you take two twice, you will get identity element. Hence order of two becomes two. Now what about order of three? So 3 plus 3 is what? 6. 6 mod 4 is 2. Again add 3. So if you add 3 twice, addition is 9. 9, made, 9 mod 4 is 1. Still you are not getting 0. Add one more time. Now if you add 3 4 times, addition is 12. 12 mod 4 is 0. Now, if you add three, four times, you will get the identity element. And hence, order of three also becomes four. Now, what about order of zero? So, zero is your identity element, actually. So zero is your identity element. And order of any identity element is always one. Like, if you take zero, I mean, it doesn't matter like how many times you will take zero. Anyhow, you will get uh, zero only. So best way to remember shortcut, right? So order of identity element is always one.